we are given a frequency distribution and this tells us how frequently or how many times it occurred and we need to turn it into a probability distribution. So frequency distribution, if I add these numbers up, I do not get one. So first thing I'm gonna do is copy and paste into Excel. Now I got these weird lines here, I'm gonna undo that, Control Z, and paste, Control Shift V, paste with no formatting. And I don't need this frequency right there. All right, I wanna take this now, I'd like it to be columns. So I'm gonna copy it in Excel now. So we're gonna highlight it in Excel, Control C to copy. Now I'm going to right click. I wanna paste the transpose. And there should be, I'm just gonna type TV because television's TVs. All right. So here I'm gonna put in the probability. Now in order to compute the probability, I need to get the total. So I'm gonna get the sum here, equals sum, parentheses, left click, drag, B5 colon B8, enter. To get the probability, it's gonna be the frequency divided by the total. So B5 divided by B10. Again, it's B5 divided by B10. Now, when I move this down, I do want B5 to become B6, but I always want to use B10 over here. So that means I need to put a dollar sign in front of 10, so I lock down 10, and that doesn't move down to 11. So now I can take this and duplicate it. And what happened here, I did want to use B6, but I wanted to divide by B10. So again, that dollar sign means don't move this red one down to keep it where it is. Same thing down here. Now, here I have a sum. What I'm gonna do is duplicate. Again, duplicate is this black cross. You have to go near the bottom right corner. I'm gonna drag it to the right. So again, this became the sum of what's above and that needs to add up to one. That's very important. It does add to one. And that's all I need here. Now I have my frequency distribution. Uh, oops, uh, now I have my probability distribution. They want it rounded to three decimals. That's no problem. Just highlight all these. And we're gonna change the decimal the value here. All right, we just need to type all these in. 0 0.009, tab, tab, 0.166, tab, tab. 0.286, tab, tab, 0.539. All right, I'm gonna hit submit, and then we will answer the next part. Okay. So we're gonna look at our table on the left in Excel and graph the probability distribution using a histogram. All right, so which one is it? Uh, to me, there's these three are quite different. Basically, I'm looking and seeing what's the highest number right here, highest probability. For us, the highest probability, at least for me, yours may be different. For me is number three. My number three is 0.539. So for me, it's the second one right here where number three is the tallest. And I'll hit submit again. So you just have to... I could have looked at what's the lowest. The lowest might be a better defining characteristic of your graph, but if you look for me, the lowest on the first two are gonna be the same. So that would not have made it uh, made a difference for me. So I looked at what's the highest. All right, now that I know this is my distribution, is this? it's definitely not symmetric. Symmetric probably would have been this one here. So this one here, the second one, which way is it skewed? So if, if it was symmetric, there would have been people that had four, five, maybe even six TVs over here going in a downward trend. But there's only people on the left, which means this is skewed left. So there's people that, these crazy people that own zero TVs and one TV that are skewing this to the left.